The next gun on my list is a Crossman PFM-16. Its average price is 40 bucks, and from what I've seen, these are fairly common pistols. In my max penetration test, it was only able to get through 42 sheets of 20 pound paper at 12 feet. The PFM-16 uses 20 round stick mags that are quite durable, but they have this weird locking feature. You can lock the magazine spring back to load in BBs, but sometimes getting the spring to unlock is a pain in the ass. The, the, the magazines are impressive, but the dysfunctional magazine locking feature would, would keep me from buying the gun again. The magazine locking feature is that annoying. The trigger pull is way too heavy. Your finger will start to hurt pretty quickly, which, which is not acceptable. But on the flip side, this gun is quite accurate. I shot at 12 targets with 3 shots each, and I got an average grouping of 1.021 inches. Shooting this gun hurts, but when you pull the trigger, you will most likely hit your target. The PFM-16 has an all-metal exterior, which gives the gun weight. It feels as heavy as a real gun, and the double-action trigger feels as bad or worse as any actual firearm. The magazines would be awesome if the spring locking feature worked well, but unfortunately, they, they, they don't. This gun is not Gabby approved. The next gun on the list is a Crossman C11, the cheaper cousin of a Crossman PFM-16. Click here to see my review of the C11, or if you want to see my previous review of a Daisy 5170, click on the left.